Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today we have another MLB The Show video, and the reason I didn't say Diamond Dynasty, or Battle Royale, or the MVP series, or anything else, is because we are going to be showing you, as from the title and probably the thumbnail, we are going to be showing you how to make stubs today. So, uh, this is a really bad example on my part, but the first thing you can do is the most obvious, and that is go to your missions. So, they have all these statistical missions, and this was terrible because I just collected all of them uh, right before this video. But, as you guys can see, you can do certain missions by just playing games, and you will get 25,000 XP, 1,000 stubs, 500 stubs, 250 stubs. So, just doing these simple little tasks, like playing games. And then, you guys can see, it goes all the way down. Hitting home runs, stealing bases, getting caught stealing errors, uh, wins by a pitcher, that kind of thing, and you get all these little stub bonuses uh, from just playing regular games. Then when you collect, I don't know, maybe 10 of the gold ones, you get 500 stubs, so that is 5,000 stubs. That is the first thing you can do, because then you can go into the market and start flipping cards. So I know there's a lot of uh, things or videos out there that show you how to flip cards and you would just go to like a rod here put one up for 136 and then sell him for 165 and make like a 20k profit that's not a, that's not a right statistic but uh, you would make like 2,000 stubs you just keep going up and up and eventually you start with that 5,000 you get up to 7,000 you can start flipping more cards. So a really good example of a card I flip is uh, Polo Grounds here. These cards used to be like 10k. They've dropped in price a lot so you guys can get them. Uh, like just the average player who doesn't have a lot of stubs. Uh, you can start flipping Polo Grounds. Put it up for 27.55. I'll do that right now. 27.55 and then you can sell him for 41 if I was to sell one of them for 41 and I bought it for 2755 I would make about 900 stubs and you just keep doing that this is a great card to flip just because of the amount difference that is between it like the other stadiums are okay I guess this one Crosley Fields not but Shy Park Decent, you make 20 stubs. This, maybe 50 stubs. Sportsman Park, 20 stubs again. Uh, I wouldn't do the gold PS3 stadiums, but especially Polo Grounds. 2K to 3K difference on the daily, and it just fluctuates. You can keep a card for a little longer and then sell it back. You make about 900 to 1,000 stubs every single time you flip this card, and you can just keep going up and up, and then eventually you can get to the MLB cards like... Uh, who's a good card a good example of this who I used to flip up here Paul Goldschmidt when he was about 35k 45k sell now I I got enough stubs to buy him one time I uh, kept flipping him uh, Let's see it Chris sale wouldn't even be that bad of a card you make about 1,500 every time uh, And then I'll give you guys one more example here Miguel Cabrera probably really good just because uh, that is about a 4K, uh, or it's, it's a 6K stub difference. It would bring you to about a 2K profit. That's really, really good every time you flip the card. So, it's very, very, very easy uh, to find certain cards to flip. The last thing I want to say is you can go on to the shownation.com uh, and... They have, you can go into their little marketplace app or selection under the form or whatever, wherever it is. I'm not exactly sure. I'll link a description, uh, or geez, I'll link it in the description where you can go find the marketplace on the show nation and it will tell you what cards are being flipped the most or being sold and bought the most that day. For example, Daniel Murphy one time when he was like an 85 overall just upgraded to gold. Everybody was buying him because of his stats or whatever. So this is a great card to flip because he was going for about 1,500 and he was selling for about 2,300. That if you made it uh, the correct, you know, if you bought it for the right price, sold it for the right price, that's about a 500 stub difference every single time you're making. 
and it just keeps going up guys uh, so you can go look at that on the forums down below and then the last thing I want to say about uh, making quick stubs is go into your uh, player collection your equipments all this go find some really cheap bronze players and quick sell them uh, he sells for 25 stubs if you keep on doing that with players that are like 30k, you don't want to wait, or sorry, 30 coins, and you don't want to wait for them to sell, just go ahead and keep selling your bronze and your silver players. Uh, that's going to help you a lot because silver players, I believe, go for 500 if I'm not mistaken, and that's just going to keep adding up untaxed coins. The last thing you can do, which I really like doing, you don't need more than one bat. Uh, so go ahead and just quick sell them they hardly go for more than uh the price so you can just go ahead and quick sell all of these make some quick 50 stubs 100 stubs right here or 75 i should say and it just keeps going up over time so this is a great way how you can sell your unwanted equipment that you're never going to use and then make some quick subs off of it so hopefully that it made you know most sense uh most mostly made sense but uh that's basically the gist of what you can do to make some quick stubs and then you can basically just keep flipping cards or if you want to test your luck go into battle royale and start winning if you can get to a nine win uh game without or if you can win nine games in a row without losing you will get a 20 go a 20 win reward from the previous update which is basically a diamond card who goes for at least i'm gonna say 30k minimum so if you spend 1.5k uh and you get 30k that's about a 28 and a half k difference so that's pretty much it uh make sure you just go ahead and rewatch the video a couple times if you want uh to get all of the stubs um you know marketplace tips down also i'll leave a description I'll leave the steps in the description below for you as well. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something new. Uh, if you didn't, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow for another one. Good night from the Hawk.